say, hey, the mic, man, and everybody. Hammond B3 organ that was stolen. The only one I've owned, it's what brought me out to California to be a musician, and I've toured everywhere with it. I've had my idols play it. It is customized for what I like to do on the instrument, and it is so special to me for, for many, many reasons. Above and beyond the fact that I need it to um, work as a musician uh, for what I do. So all that put together, it's been pretty devastating to have someone come and take it away from me. In addition, um, the van and trailer was packed full of all sorts of other stuff uh, because I had a, a concert, a live concert in front of people uh, that I, the first one in a year. I'm still remembering stuff gradually that was in there and trying to compile a full list so it's not even just the instrument it's all sorts of different things they basically left my a pair of my underwear and, and a pair of my jeans and some old shoes so with that said we're um heading down to the area where his van was actually abandoned um which is south central and we're gonna Maybe, I know it's like a needle in a haystack, but we're gonna drive around looking down there for um, for any equipment that might have been just discarded. Um, this has been so hard on on our family here. stolen last week. Here's where the van was uh, um, abandoned, down here. Praying that we spotted the trailer, his Hammond, the Leslie, something. It's uh, like a needle in a haystack down here. But you never know. You never know. This is gorgeous. Hey, there's a guy playing an organ next to that bonfire in the parking lot over there. So, not sure what you want to do. Probably have to call it at this point. There's a new discovery in the case, and I'm gonna let Mike talk about that. Um, as a lot of people know, the van was found the next day, it was abandoned in South Central with the catalytic converter missing, but the trailer and all the gear has been missing. Well, a couple of friends of mine who were vigilant sent me an eBay listing, and upon first look, I didn't think it was mine because the legs were gone, the whole volume under chassis gone, cut. But something inside of me told me to take a closer look, and as soon as I zoomed in and started uh, inspecting the pictures it just hit me like a ton of bricks that it was mine now we're trying to uh, determine how to handle the situation uh, working with eBay and the detectives and so forth so uh, updates will be forthcoming yeah so right meow we're going down to where the address is that this person who has it is located to see if there's anything else we can spot like the trailer or anything we are on we are hot on the case so yes yeah, stay tuned for more um, updates this is getting a little spicy <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the detectives have the resources today and they're gonna go down there with me and Harold, God bless him, is coming with me. He's got the proper dollies to move what is now my chopped organ. The thing's gonna have to be completely rebuilt. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of work and it's gonna be expensive, but Harold, God bless the guy. So someone else didn't buy it. 
he went and bought it for me. Harold is a little so, angel from heaven, isn't he? I'm going to be going and picking Harold up here in a few minutes, and uh, we're going to meet the detectives down there. We're going to find out what the hell. Is yeah, going this on is with my like stuff. a sting operation going on here. That's what's going to happen. I can't believe it. I can't even believe that we found it. So. Um, this is crazy, but. Time to go kick some ass. bless this man if it wasn't for him i wouldn't have my rig back we're waiting for the detectives to go uh talk to this seller and find out what's going on but unbelievable we got the detective and some officers walking up right now oh right behind us so here they're we go guys us. there they go Some these gentlemen famous. are going to find out what the hell is going on with my hammond b3 organ oh my goodness well the detective and the police uh just called me and said, pull on into the driveway, so here we go. She's coming home to me. There she is. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. Welcome back home. Welcome home. Welcome back home, baby. Well, she's coming home. Look at this. Look at this. The legs are gone, the whole volume chassis is gone, but the soul, the innards are there and it's gonna be reincarnated into a new cabinet by Maestro Kenrich. So, thank the Lord, thank Harold, thank Ken. Uh, I'm a blessed man today. Well, this is unbelievable. <laughs> um, I'm an older, like seven-year-old Korean man found this on the street and was selling it on eBay, and Mike found his organ. It's ruined. The legs have been chopped off. The um, It's completely ruined. It has to be rebuilt, but- But the guts are here. The and guts the are here, the are spirit's here. here. My draw bars, everything, the soul is intact and will be rebuilt. Unbelievable. It's, not, it's gonna be just as costly financially as it would to be uh, to find a new one. your organ I am Aww, it's so now look, cute. At, look at this by the way they tried to saw these it idiots half. tried to saw this thing in half and this like reverb chassis is metal and it stopped him from getting all the way through and I think my guess is that they just didn't know what to do with it wanted to get rid of it fast try to chop it up into little pieces and that's as far as they could get taking the legs and volume chassis out. This didn't work, thank God, because I have all the keys, all are the, keys the manuals, everything. And it's gonna be rebuilt, and wait till you see. We're gonna rebuild it. Maestro Kenrich. Everybody's helping. Kenrich, who built this for me, also, is gonna reincarnate my beast into a new body. It'll be better than ever. You're gonna get a new body, Adi Adi. <laughs> mm -hmm. 